Mr. Bobulinski, I, I heard your opening statement. It's submitted to the record, part of our proceedings. I have a quick question, simple. Is it your testimony today that you personally witnessed President Joe Biden commit a crime? I believe the fact that he was sitting with me while I was putting together a business deal. Did you deal, witness the president commit it, a crime? Is it your testimony today? Yes. And what crime do you uh, have you witnessed? How much time do I have to go through it? It is simple. You name the crime. Uh, Did you watch him steal something? Cor corruption statutes, it, RICO and conspiracy. What is it? What is, Sarah, what is the crime, sir? You, you, Specifically, you, just, uh, wait, you keep uh, you asked me to answer the question. I answered the question. No, Rico, you're obviously not familiar with corruption. Excuse statute. me, sir. Excuse Farah. me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Rico is not a crime. It is a category. What I is the, it's the category crime. of crimes that you're then charged? You under have charges. A long hundred. You have charges, yeah. sir. Please you want me to name, name the exact statute sir? under Rico. Yes. I'll, well, it's funny. In this committee room, everyone's not here. There's over 18 All right, sir, I reclaim my lawyers time. that went I to law school. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time. You guys okay, to thank you, the sir. I reclaim my time. Rico. Clearly, what we are seeing here today is a continuation of the 15-month saga of the Republican majority lost in the desert. Impeachment 101. The majority party or whomever is raising impeachment must accuse the president of a high crime, a specific high crime or misdemeanor. I would like to submit to the record HRES 918, the House resolution to open this impeachment inquiry. Without objection to order. This resolution does not outline a high crime or misdemeanor. It's not here. Now, when we compare the chairman's opening from his previous opening, he's talking about Ukraine and Burisma and all of this. It is, this entire inquiry is based on a blockbuster piece of information that was in a classified skiff room. And inside that room was a document alleging President Biden directly of a $10 million bribery scheme, a $10 million bribery scheme, extremely serious. What happened? What happened a month ago, Mr. Chairman? That document, the FBI arrested the person who offered those allegations for falsifying the, his testimony at, to the FBI. This entire impeachment inquiry is based on an, on an actual, provable individual who has lied. Now, responsible leadership would withdraw an inquiry based on that. Withdraw it. Instead, what we are seeing is that this committee was warned about the falsehoods of these allegations long before that, warned by Trump Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and yet they proceeded anyway. The chairman proceeded anyway. This committee was warned by Rudy Giuliani associate right here, Lev Parnas, after that document about the falsehoods of this. Then held hearings where your own expert witnesses said that there was no grounds for impeachment and you proceeded anyway. And finally, as if none of this was enough, the FBI arrested the individual who was the source of the entire, to quote the chairman, heart of the matter to launch this impeachment inquiry and proceeded anyway. At this point, the story is not the fact that the basis of this impeachment inquiry is wrong. The story is why it's proceeding anyway. Why is this committee proceeding based on false charges? And if there, and by the way, no charges. I have yet to hear in the chairman's opening the allegation that they are specifically charging the president of the United States with. I'm hearing about Biden family. I'm hearing about this and that. I am not hearing the specific allegation by this committee. What is it? It's not here. And that is the problem. The story is when this committee knew that they were working with falsified evidence. That's the story. And with that, I yield back.
Gentle lady yields back. 